What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and today we have our video is our first ever live box opening for a Cosmic Eclipse box. Uh, we did it on stream. Reminder, we do stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, one, Monday, Tuesday and Thursdays on Twitch and YouTube, uh, 7 p.m. EST. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, definitely re recommend doing so. Uh, so for this video, I did do, try to do some editing because I did leave the code cards up for longer than normal just so that people could type them in on stream and i left the codes in the video however it's kind of unlikely they're not already claimed but uh on the off chance they are feel free to try it and basically i'm looking for some feedback as far as how this video goes uh because of our stream setup the quality resolution might be a little bit lower my frame rate might be a little bit lower so let me know what your thoughts are in a comment down below and uh, maybe you know based on that maybe we'll do this again or not but i uh, hope you enjoy the video it was an interesting box i kind of have mixed feelings about it whether i like the results or not but um anyway thanks for watching guys and enjoy the video What is up? I'm Wanted Turtle, and we are doing our first live uh, pack opening. On, we are streaming currently on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, if you're in the chat, we do have a chat window here, and it's kind of small. Maybe I should make it a little bigger. Eh, it's kind of too late for that. But uh, hey, you can say hi to YouTube or whatever. <laughs> what up, he the turtle? And so we're going to do a whole box. We're going to split it into three different parts on the YouTube side. Actually, obviously, it'll just be all in one video. But we're doing 12 to start off the stream, especially to help out all of our early viewers with some code cards. And we're going to do 12 in the middle of the stream. And watch, I'm going to call Volcarona GX. Ooh, wouldn't mind that. Although I think I have, I think I have three already. So we could, if we get a fourth, we could make a deck out of that. Hey, Gabriel, how's it going? All right, for our first pack, we have a Flareon, Iglybuff, Will, Apom. Onyx, a Tepig, Sandshrew, Snowrunt, Eevee is our first reverse, and Lunala. Not crazy about this card. Uh, if you're trying to snag code cards, I would recommend jumping over on Twitch. Um, I think YouTube has a significantly longer delay, so uh, obviously that will help quite a bit. Alright, here comes the next code. I find that a lot of times people don't want to say they got it, probably not to to piss anyone off but hey if you want to brag about your speed you can go ahead and do so all right pack number two we have a absol all right any other calls any other guesses for what we're going to pull we have a one one guess of volcarona gx ah mula man if you call the rarity as well i don't know we'll hook you up with a extra pack pogo dad how's it going i'm doing very well always fun to open Pokemon cards and oh, Savali GX, one of the better ones in my opinion. Really good ability, kind of like a Bissell hand on on, but in GX mode. So I'll put this in the background somewhere we can actually see it. And there is our first pull of this opening. Next, my code says Ricky. Gauntlet has been thrown. Here we go. One, two, three, go. All right, a reminder, we'll be doing this in three different parts throughout the stream. My earbuds are coming out. Misty and Lorelei. Ah, I really want to make Blastoise work, but I'm not sure if I will, we will be able to. Palpitoad. Can't pause. Oh, okay, I'll leave it up there for a little bit longer next one, if it helps. Dupider. A Stuffle. And then just a Muck. Not a very good card, but really cool art. I'm not sure if Lucky Lee is on the stream, but shout outs to you. Uh, he does have a YouTube channel and he kind of introduced us to this software that we're using to stream my phone, essentially. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure if mobile has a additional delay versus, um, you know, just not through the mobile app. It's possible. Tangrowth, Lily's Full Force, Clay, Vulpix, Rockruff, Stuffle. Amy Shark is now following. <laughs> I have a, I could guess who that is. <laughs> Thank you so much, Amy. <laughs> All right, we have a Drillbur, and then a Sylveon. I'm not even going to attempt. Uh... 
possible there's that delay thing, but for everyone, I have a 10 second plus 10 second delay. Uh, how, where is that 10 second plus delay coming from, Moolah Money Man? Alright, be tight. Tag call, ooh, tag call puts it off to the side. I feel like there's a lot of decks that I want to try to make with tag call. Uh, one that I think I have most of the cards to put together is a Reshi Zard and Reshi Ram. Oh no, not Reshi Ram. Uh, Charizard breaks in clay and then a Whaler in. Oh, glad to have you here, Pogo Dad. Oh, okay. So do we have confirmation that mobile is significantly more delay? Yeah, it is. I'm like, ah, it's unfortunate. I will, we will be giving away uh, individual packs all throughout the stream as well. Um, you're already on Twitch, so you uh, basically you accrue points by just watching the stream, and we will be giving away plenty of points whenever we start a giveaway as well. Although I think I think you probably heard that spiel a number of times. Rufflet, a Piplup, Steelix. Ah, not the character rare, just the regular version. And then a Sunflora. Hmm. We'll say this is uh, not not a very impressive opening. Hopefully that just means we'll pull some crazy stuff later on in the stream. Hey, Dragomania, how's it going? We are doing an opening as you can see, and if you want to try to snag some of these codes, I'd recommend being on Twitch. Sorry I've been gone for a while. Oh, no need to apologize for that. Araquanid, but glad to have you back. Draw Energy, Fossil, Ponyard, Togedomaru, Trap Pinch, a Flabebe, Tangela, a Piplup is a reverse. Ah, I wish that was a character rare. Ah, very good card. Although it's probably just a one of and most if not all decks it's in the heat is coming i hope so all right and does anyone want to try to call, call a card so if you call a card um so you get like one guess for throughout the entire stream but if you manage to call it especially for if you get like the exact type the rarity then i'll definitely hook you up with a pack i'll send you a trade for uh basically like energy for a pack or something like that so far we had uh, i think mula money man said volcarona all right, we got Will. I'm gonna call Character Art Weavile next pack. Oh man, if it's right here, that'd be sick. Cricket Top, Charizard Master Reverse Rare. Uh, I'm not sure what we're talking about. Reverse Rare. Oh, just that the re Reverse is a rare card. Torque. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, we need the. This is our last one that we need. And then a Marshadow. A Lowland Persian says Pogo Dad. All right, we have four more try. Only one, only one hit so far. Come on, this was a sealed box. Ah, I will say I really enjoy this versus uh, just doing the regular opening. Sometimes it's hard to talk to myself for whatever twenty minutes straight. Colin Torkel, ah, I would appreciate that. Bocorona is Mula Man's guess. Pokedoll. I made um ooh later on I'll show the the babies deck that I created. I actually can't create it in PTCGO unfortunately. I might have to do some more pack openings online as well. But I made an IRL deck of the babies. Deerling. Oh my god, I got a code card. Nice. Observer says Magnemite. Character rare. WTH. <laughs> Yeah, W. I'm with you. WTH? Where's all the cards? Oh my gosh! All right, that just means the end of stream is going to go crazy. All right, let's get something. Water. Mawile. Flareon. Ah, I want to see someone make a really cool evolution deck with those uh, evolution buffers. Oh, I feel like you need a lot of Eevees. I guess there's I guess there's GX EVs you can mix in there too. Cosmog is our reverse. Where are the poles that I'm feeling? Where did these packs come from? They came from a sealed box that we broke at the beginning of the stream. Uh, where did the box come from? I bought it online on eBay. Alright, here we go. Oh, actually, this is a really good card, and I really like the art. So we got Oricorio. Uh, I do have a, one of these in my uh, Malamar decks. 
And this full art. I actually really like the full art. Purple on purple. It's kind of hard to see it, but it does. I do like that. Usually, I think ones that I'd put in my deck. Um, I guess Rainbow Rare is like a little bit more like, hey, the deck is swagged out. But I think the full arts usually look a little bit better. All right, we got. We're getting all the the draw support that this that this set has to offer. All right, two packs left. Reminder, we'll be doing this again in the middle of the stream and then once at the end. And as always, guys, if you do want to play a match online, uh, just if I don't already have your IGN or in-game name, just type into the stream and we can have a match, whether it's uh, competitive standard decks or just using theme decks or whatever. McCargo. I'm calling this pack we'll have a character rare. Ah, maybe the next one. I agree, I'm a full art boy, says Drago Mania. Yeah. Oh boy, stream is kind of hard, hard to come up, keep up with. How much more packs? Uh, we're gonna do 12 in the middle of the stream and then 12 at the end, Ricky. I noticed a lot of the packs start with L, the codes. Let's see. Oh my gosh, you're right. We do have another L. Also, do you guys know the if the Final Fantasy TCG is good? I've never played the actual TCG, but I did buy a bunch of singles. Basically, I was a huge fan of Final Fantasy growing up and just picked a lot of the cool characters that I liked. Ends Resolve, Teddy Ursa, me for the next battle. Uh, Golet, um, not sure what that means. Oh, do you mean you want to have a match? Fill the Uptile. All right, do we got a character rare? Ah, wow, no character rares. Usually we get like three in a box, so. Big whiff. Moolah Money Man is convinced we are going to get a Volcarona, so we'll see if that's the case. The one I want the most is that Torkoal Flannery. It is the last character rare we need. Good. All right, let's see what we can do. We have a Fighting Energy. Ooh, Great Catcher, very good card. I feel like Great Catcher is going to be a much more valuable card down the line. Um, when, man, just these non-GX decks kind of fall to the wayside. Oh, we did get a character. Our first one in this box, Gallade, and it is does look pretty well centered. Actually, I think it is a little bit moved to the right, so not perfect, though. Put you off to the side, and a Slurp Puff. That's a card I'm never excited to see. Either an L or a W, it seems. Hmm, let's see. Put that to the test. L. All right. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, the reason I'm leaving the codes up a little bit longer is so the people on stream can try to snag them. Bryson and Bellaba. Fishing rod. Chaotic swell. I'm putting that off to the side. I think I'm, I am making a deck that could use those. I did put together a baby's deck again. Uh, gonna try it at league on Wednesday. A weavile. Hopefully he'll have time to get to your package if it arrives tomorrow. And like I said, it's going to. All right, yeah, I'll definitely swing by the post office uh, on my way home from work tomorrow. Thanks so much, EMC, as always. Of course, that's super generous of you. You kind of dropped some hints about what's in there. It sounds like some crazy stuff. And we got another L. And this box is not that good so far. Fortunately, my piles are all over the place. Amulet. Erica, Vibrava, Snow Runt, Rockruff, Deerling. Ooh, Deerling's not bad. There's a really annoying Lily's Poke Doll Sawbuck deck that I'm not really sure how to counter it, so that's why I run like Blacephalon, Baby Blacephalon, and I actually don't run SP on Dax anymore, but Ultra Necrozma could help out there as well. It's okay, so far we only got one hit. Not great. Larvesta. Ooh. Moolah Money Man. There's that Larvesta. Pikachu. Teddy Ursa. Noise Pass. A Litleo. Malo and Lana. Then a Embor. Whew. This is rough. One thing we do manage to pull a bunch of is the Blastoise Piplup Tag Team. Haven't found a way to make that deck work yet, though. But I feel like it has potential. Especially when you're going against all these Giratinas. Having that built-in healing and then you can just add more healing in there too. Might just be the way to break the non-GX meta. Another Fishing Rod. 
Chaotic Swell again, nice. Type Null. Stuffle. Ponyard. A Litleo. Coughing. Nose Pass. Curlia is a reverse. And then just a Trevenant. Oh, I need more of the Trevenant Dust Noirs. I only have one IRL. And I do want to make a deck that is the Mistrevious into that card with reset stamp turn one. All right, let's see. We got Lily's Full Force, Clay, a Primplup, Oddish, Rolks, Sandy Gas, Sveal, Cottony, a Victini, Ursaring. All right, whenever I see this, I see Kung Fu Panda. Broke the L. <laughs> that, yeah, our string of L's for this booster box. Guzman Hala, Rapidash, Roxy, Flabebe, San Santru, Ponyta, Sunkern, Cosmog. Our verse is just a Pikachu. Ooh, all right. So this is an interesting card. Ultimately, I think it's not good enough for Malamar, but it does have some potential. Uh, late game so because your opponent has two or fewer prizes then you can dish out 170 damage for only two energy but i feel like dueling 170 late game is like giratina is just you know 130 very reliable and it's useful throughout the map so it's just not a big enough delta over giratina uh, by that time you shouldn't have any problem ramping up and we got another x code card so it seems like everything is l or x and also all these packs are terrible Pyroar, Throw, Tangrowth, or Brawler, Carvana, Chincho, a Azuril, Rufflet, Magneton, Ooh, okay, we finally got a hit in Naganadol Guzzlord. I have not seen this card being run at all online, which is very disappointing. 180 is nothing too crazy, but it is only 3 energy. Violent Appetite is not bad, but that Chaotic Order, that card, that ability sounds really strong. Wait, what co color were the L codes? Uh, seems like they're all green. Okay, yeah, so X seems to be the white code cards. Obser oh man, Observer, you. <laughs> that is a good name. Because all the L cards, we'll confirm with this, are green, and then the X's have been white. Let's see, so this is a green code card, and L! Actually, I feel like the green thing, like, I've seen people pull GX's, actually myself as well, pulling GX's when it's a green code card, so maybe that green and white thing, kind of, that pattern is somewhat broken. Eevee? Buskull? Temple? Ah, just a roller skater. Kind of disappointing this card as well. I really like the sound of it, but hasn't performed super well. Having another card to discard energy for Malamar is not bad, but sometimes you just don't have it. My Malamar deck only runs like 10 energies. Alright, Rapidash, Roxy. Professor Oak, Duskull, Timpole, Piplup, Cosmog, Ponyta, a Zangoose, he's a reverse. Oh my gosh, this box is terrible. This is all we have so far, guys. And we still have 12 packs after this one, but still, this is, this is quite rough. Alright, last pack. It is green, also not a good sign. feel like it's no longer a hard rule, but my gosh. Does seem still seem to follow a trend. Poké Doll, not bad. All right, Slugma, Chincho. Yeah, I pulled Hyper Creation Trio from. I'm guessing it says green card. Pancham. Oh, okay. We did get another character rare, and this one is off centered. Unfortunately, it's shifted a little bit this way. But do I actually like this character rare? Steelix has like just the weirdest smile. Ah, then just a size with Toad. All right, so we did hello YouTube from Vintham and Thirty. Ah, thanks so much for that follow. 
uh, 30. All right, so once again, the green... All right, here we go. First pack, water energy. Caitlyn and Cynthia, very good. Aeronoth, Gloom, Simeon, Relic, very cute. Lillipup, Skrulp. Ah, oh, I never tried Skrulp. Skrulp Trogalgi, though, sounds somewhat viable. Oh, nice! I, I think we're going to make a Charizard tag team deck. We're going to use both of them. We'll use the Reshizard and this one. I feel like there is some synergy between them. Reshizard can just duel out more damage, but this guy can search up more heal. And like things like Super Scoop Up. <laughs> Thanks so much, Alvin. All right, hopefully soon we'll have some emotes as well, but that reverse slot is obviously still alive. We need one more character rare to get all the non-GX ones, and that is Torkoal. We have like six Stoutlins, a handful of Magnemites, but no Torkoal. And of course, it's the turtle that gives us the hardest time. Oh my gosh, another <laughs> we have a handful of Clay and Exadrill. This thing's also off-centered. But there's another character rare to go with Empoleon. So for character rares, we got Gallade, Steelix, and Exadrill. I love these character rares. They're not super rare, but I think that's fine. So it just ends up being, you know, really nice artwork that everyone will want to collect all of them. And it's not that hard to do so. Much better than the, like, the other secret rares that they did in Evolution, in my opinion. Full Force, End Resolve, Larvesta. Ah, so we didn't get the... What's, uh... I'm blanking on the Larvesta's Evolution's name. But we did pull one online. Lycanroc. This is an interesting card, but... The Malamar meta does not make it relevant. I can't type the code, I only get a little bit of it. Can you show the previous code real quick? Let's start with X, XWX. Alright, yeah, yeah, I can go back to that one in a second. Celio, draw energy. Draw energy is a card I might try to play around with. Especially if there are decks that... Ooh, this is my favorite character art. I don't mind pulling a lot of these. It is a little off-center. Actually, all these character arts are off-center. But this is by far the best one. And then Piplup. And then Torkoal. And then we just have a Crabominable. Alright guys, so yeah, um, for s upcoming stuff, uh, Sword and Shield obviously comes out Friday. Uh, we'll try to get a stream Friday evening for that, and we won't, be able to, we won't have anything on the weekend, but Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, hope to stream a lot of Sword and Shield, Decidueye for the reverse, and then just a Golurk. Alright, so I have a good number of packs. Do that for a second. Uh, but we did get a Charizard, we did get a Oricorio, which I like, and the Charizard, or it's a Valley. Ooh, red and blue, I needed one more of that. Put that off to the side. Fossil, hakama o Cosmog, Slugma, Wellmer, a Ponyard, Togemaru, ah, Trap Inch, and just a Gallade. That is a little disappointing. Uh, for everyone that came in through Huntress stream, again, Huntress, thanks so much. I hope I'm saying that name correctly. <laughs> but, uh, so our regular stream schedule is Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday evening, starting at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. EST. And, uh, Wednesdays we do League, so that's why we don't stream on Wednesdays, although I am going to try to get some, uh, footage at League. So, this is an interesting card. High Water does make me somewhat hopeful that we can make a Blastoise Plip Pluck deck work, but in order to get that on turn one, discard two water energy is going to be tough. And have Kyogre. Alright, let's see what we got. Dusclops, Profoak, Pig Knight, Swirlix, Cricketot, Swoobat, Ducklet, Helioptile, ah, just a Sandy Gas. And we have, ah, Venusaur Snivy. Oh, who said they were looking for an IRL Venusaur Snivy? <laughs> Here we have one. Very cool card, very cool ability. I think he's just too clunky. And the fact that he has three retreat costs versus four, I think really hurt him. 
Getting to that um, buff padding, what I think would have made a huge difference. Uh, trainer, I think also has interaction with four retreat cost Pokemon. All right, Lightning Energy, Hakamo'o, Furtier, Seal. Actually, so this box is turning out to have a good number of hits. Just want one of those secret rares or hyper rares, and it's still not there. Four packs remaining in this box. As always, if you're watching this YouTube video and you do want to support the channel, easiest ways are to like and subscribe. We try to do, we do videos essentially every single day. Uh, great catcher, not bad. We do openings and stuff like uh, looking at the market and stuff like that too. All right, Drillbur, Sfeel, and then a Beware. I'm not sure we're gonna get more character rares. We already got four in this box, so that's likely it in that regard. But still looking for a hyper rare. We got an X pack. Maybe this is it. After this, are you still streaming? Uh, 30, this is gonna be it for me for tonight. We'll be back uh, tomorrow starting at 7 p.m. EST. We got a Fossil, Onyx, Whelmer, Palpitoad, Cricketop, Apom, Ah, Slurpuff. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh no, I think we pulled this online. It's like, wait, did we get a second creation? Wow, we actually, this box has so many hits. We'll go through the results of the entire box at the end. And I do want to just change this music. I'm not a fan of this song. Two packs remaining, another L pack. Wow, even though we got a lot of hits, the fact that this is an L pack and this is the last one makes me worry that we're not going to get anything better than a full art. Which actually that's happened to us in a Lost Thunder pack where we got like totally gypped. That would be disastrous. Onyx, Swirlix is a reverse, and then a Swoobat. All right, so these are our hits so far. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That is actually an insane amount of hits. But as you can see, we didn't get anything better than a full art. So even though, you know, numbers wise, this is still amazing. Where is our max rarity stuff? And it's an L pack. What? So guys, what's better? Is it better to get a box full of hits but no hyper rare slash secret rare, or the other way, or to get less hits? Oh yeah, that's the valley. That's a that might be one of the best hits. Actually, no, the Charizard for sure. But then that's the valley. All right, man. I'm not sure how I feel about this box at this point. All right, unless it's sneak. Oh, it's not hiding. Wow, so our, no, no, like, yeah, these are all common, or common, uncommon. Actually, this is technically a foil character rare, or that the base version is a foil. Um, but yeah, no hype or anything like that. So, yeah, mixed feelings about this opening. But, uh, yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.